Hello guys! So today I have something special for you. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing. I've seen that it's quite popular on the internet to do an unboxing video. So I'm going to try to do one myself. In this box right here we have a, the newest Predator kit from uh, Narin. Uh, that's a really really good and talented sculptor guy from uh, Thailand I believe. And this is the fourth Predator kit I have ordered from him. It's a raising model kit. And um, the things he does is he uh, makes a model, he uh, makes parts of it and um, sends parts to people who like to paint and to do stuff with them. And then they assemble it and then um, they kind of paint it and make their own sculpture <coughs> out of his sculpture. So yeah, today I will be un unpacking this package, a huge one, this is the biggest one I have ordered. Uh, before this I have already ordered three of his sculptures that you have maybe already seen. Uh, the sculptures were really really amazing, I can show you them. Here is one of the guys. This guy is called Spirit Blade. Uh, this guy is called Alternative Hunter I believe. And uh, this guy is called Rapido Master. Uh, it's really really hard for you to see now all the details because uh, the camera is so far away but at the end of the video I will be zooming in on all of the, all of the three guys and showing you all the fine details. But first things first, let's open up the new one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, I really, I, it's like opening Christmas presents uh, for grown-ups because, I don't know, it just feels like it. Let's just put these guys here. So yeah, I normally, I'm not so excited about presents, but this one is a lot bigger than the previous ones. Um, I'm not sure, I think it's 45 centimeters high. And it, it, it just looked amazing on the picture. So I hope it looks as amazing in real life as it looks in the pictures. So yeah, just give me a second. I think a nice thing about internet is like you can share your experience with other people and show them how, um, how much fun it is to open big packages like this. Uh, the sculptures are quite expensive, uh, so it's not for like everyday use, not everybody can afford it I believe. But if you have some spare money and you're a big nerd, I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Uh, all the, other, all the other packages I've ordered from him were super super tightly packed so the sculptures don't get destroyed. So I assume this one is extremely well packed as well. Oh yeah, I need a garbage bag for this. So there's a bunch of styrofoam um, in the box so I need to remove that first before we can get to taking out all the big parts. It's really, really good at pack packing stuff. <laughs> I get a sticker with his signature on it uh, of the sculpture I ordered. That's kind of cool. He really does packing all the good stuff, like you, you can't even see what it is, it's so good packed and that's for a good reason, they're, they're, they're so fragile so you don't really want them to get destroyed. I'm really making a mess here with all the styrofoam, it's like it's everywhere. Uh, this particular kit comes in, uh, I think, about 50 different pieces, so it's going to be a lot of assembling. The previous ones did not have that many pieces, they had like uh, maybe 20 pieces each or something. Oh, this one is heavy, this must be the torso <clears throat> or the uh, down abdomen. 
and I'm, I'm guessing this is the alligator head. Yeah, this is definitely the upper torso, or it's maybe the the thing that he's standing on the plate or whatever. So I have changed the camera angle for a little bit, so you can see and or get a better view of the things that I'm opening. And um, I don't really know how long time, how much time I'm going to need to open all of this, but I will maybe fast forward if it's nothing very very interesting to see. And I'll just show you the best bits, I guess. So I hope this camera angle works a lot better for you. Uh, now I'm just using a scalpel, scalpel and um, opening it slowly and trying not to uh, destroy the raising kit that's inside. So here we have the first element that's a uh, that's a really simple looking boomerang actually. That's like the probably the simplest or the uh, the least detailed part of uh, the whole sculpture. Uh, oh, here is also a hand. We have a hand holding a boomerang. So this is the first piece of the puzzle. Just put it right here. Let's start with another one. And uh, this one looks maybe like an arm. Yeah, it, it is the, le the right arm. No, sorry, it's the left arm, I believe. Yeah, and it's so incredibly detailed. It's so, it's so good. I can't credit the guy enough. He does such an amazing job. Okay, let's open one of the bigger ones. I'm not sure what's inside here, it's, it feels really really light, it could be the head. <laughs> There's a layer upon layer upon layer of stuff. Let's see, this is, oh, here are the dreadlocks. This is going to be the most painstakingly thing to assemble ever. It's like, oh, a package of dreadlocks, they're all individual. So I will need to assemble each and every one of them on his head uh, and I have no, no idea how. Here are also some of the fangs or some of the teeth he has in his mouth. And it's going to be so hard to put them in the right order because I didn't get any, any kind of instructions on where to put each segment. So it's just going to be like a huge puzzle piece on trying to figure out where to put everything. The big one, the long one. My guess is this is a spear that he's, he's using to uh, stab the alligator or the crocodile or whatever it is. Yes, it's the, it's the spear with the hand and it almost looks like a wand, like a Harry Potter wand of some sort. I can't even tell you how detailed the work is, it's so amazing. I'll, I'll do a close-up shot, uh, shot at the end. Let's see, I'm guessing this might be arm or maybe the head. Yeah, this is the head, I think. Yeah, should be more careful. Oh yeah. Here, here's the head. It's so amazing. And, and uh, you, have, you can see the places where the dreadlocks are going to go. It's like, how often do you see a, a predator without his dreadlocks? It looks really, really freaky. So if you, if you have one of those phobias, um, I don't remember the name, that are uh, the people who are afraid of holes in the skin or in general, you will probably freak out when you see this guy without the dreadlocks. But it looks so amazing. Uh, when I was painting the other ones, it, uh, it, you can really feel the size of each segment. 
And when I was painting, painting the other sculptures, I could really feel it in my wrist because when I paint each segment, I hold it in my wrist and then I paint it for hours and hours and I can really feel it uh, pulling down my wrist and kind of gets really sore after a while, but it's so worth it putting so many hours into, into work like this. Oh, wow. Wow. This is so amazing. The detail is unreal. Props to the guy. Nothing else to say. Okay, let's do one of the bigger packages now. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the biggest of them all? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm guessing this is a torso. It's fun to see it when you get it in pieces like this. You you kind of can't grasp how good it's going to look like until it's uh, put together and you can see all the fine detail and everything. Oh yeah, this is the torso. I can say I can tell you one thing. This guy is so ripped. I mean, look at this. It's so amazingly anatomically correct for a predator, I would, I would, I would say. It's so cool. Okay, let's do the bottom part. I assume this is the bottom part, like uh, hips and down. A lot of plastic for this one. Here, so those are the legs. Oh yeah. As you can see, everything comes so tightly packed and so detailed, it's like it's so mind-blowing when you open each segment and you check out all the hard work, all the details and all the thought that went behind creating a piece like this. So amazing. I'll show you in detail soon enough how everything looks like. Just going to open the final piece here. This one is probably the stand, uh, like the ground that he's standing on. On the other ones, uh, Narin actually signed each uh, piece that I got uh, on the bottom of the ground that they're standing on. I still didn't paint uh, them completely because I think they look really, really nice without the ground. But I think I'm going to include uh, the ground in this one as well. It looks so badass. This time he has actually included a place where the feet are going to go, so you can like basically take your foot. You can see it in under it has like a special uh, uh, plate that goes into one of the spots here, like this. So it's like a puzzle piece, so it goes perfectly into, into it, like so. But yeah, you can see he signed this one as well. Narin, awesome. So you can see each segment right here it looks so cool i mean the detail is bloody amazing i mean check this out the guy went beyond everything you can imagine i mean look at all the fine detail Just, if you appreciate sculptures and good art, it doesn't get better than this. So right now, I have put together pieces that could uh, like go together without uh, gluing them. And this is how it looks like when he kind of stands upright. 
bear in mind that everything is um, just like loosely put together and uh, when the product is done it's going to look so much better and basically you take other parts of him and just like stick them in place the colors I'm thinking of is um, either brownish all the way that was my initial plan but now I see that uh, most of his equipment like um, this spear right here it's made of wood it seems like it's uh, supposed to be made of wood so it needs to be brown so if everything is going to be brown colored it's going to be a look it's going to look a little bit weird so I'm thinking about doing him like almost albino color like uh, white the whole white predator and then see how how it kind of develops the thing that's so good with uh, working with sculptures like this if you're not happy with the color you just go and paint it over with something else with a different color and it looks it really does look good so here is the very first predator sculpture I've got from uh, him and I painted I previously have never been painting sculptures so I had no idea what I was going to do with it uh, I just had like an idea for a basic color and it took me it took me like two weeks to do it from start to finish I um, used only acrylics and that was just a lot of try and error like I said I have never painting a painted a sculpture before but I really really loved his work and I was thinking to give it to go because I think it's always fun to try out different things and uh, test out uh, yeah, different techniques and everything and uh, yeah I, I'm, I got like uh, chains from eBay like to give him like a even smoother finer detail touch I just gave this guy a little one but I gave a lot more chains to the other ones I, each of them comes also with their own mask so the, here is the mask for this guy and it goes it fits perfectly the face so you can just like pop it in I'll pop it up like this and now you have the predator with the mask I personally like him way better without the mask but it's so cool that you get like that extra little uh, detail touch to the sculpture that makes it so much cooler right here you have you can see the second sculpture I've got uh, from Naren this is the second ever sculpture I painted after I did the first one that I just showed you uh, the colors I used are like green, lime, greenish all the way, like grasshopper green because the title of this uh, sculpture is Alternative Hunter and when I was thinking about Hunter I was thinking about him hiding in the bushes and like stalking the prey uh, so yeah I went to, like, with a greenish hue color with this guy uh, it's so cool that uh, like the laser beam thingies are like standing on, the, on their own independently just like straight from the shoulder and uh, yeah this guy is also so damn detailed it's so much fun to work and paint them so although it is super detailed it, it's a little bit less detailed than the previous one so I didn't uh, didn't take me that much time to paint it at the same time uh, this one took me way less because um, I, I kind of did the first one and then I pre-ordered this guy right away here's a very short preview how it looks like when he has the weapon attached you can see it's um, a little bit crooked here both up and uh, down that's just because I did not put them all the way in um, and um, I did not glue them together because it's way easier to transport the figures if they're not glued but yeah he looks so much better when uh, the weapon is there like a huge spear uh, that he's carrying around and hunting things with Right here you can see the last one of the of the three predators I have ordered from Narin. It's uh, this guy is like a big Templar-ish boss kind of guy. He's called Rapido Master, so he's like kind of the boss of the bosses. And uh, yeah, he was also very fun. I, I wanted to make him way way darker than the previous ones, just to get the feel of him being like in power, like being an older predator, like knowing what's up so this one's way darker than the other ones as also you can see I did way more chains on this guy because I felt like he needed more more stuff on him he has like way less gear than the other guys um, 
like weapon wise but it, he looks so cool uh, the thing I really liked about this guy is that he came with a cape and uh, when a cape is like when you have a cape you can like basically put whatever kind of pattern you want on him so I gave him like his own war sign signal thingy on the cape I think it looked it turned out really really good I mean you can have yeah, I put like tiny details right here and then there and then like on the edges of the cape right here both uh, there and on the inside as well so there's there's like so much detail that went into making this guy as well and yeah the cape was really really fun I also like that it's going like like waterfall wise like like this and then it's like another edge and goes down and there's another edge and it goes even further down so yeah, I really enjoyed working on this guy as well. Um, I'm not sure which one which one is my favorite until now, but I think all of them look really, really cool in their own respected way. He also came with his own mask, like the other two before him. And I kind of uh, the last one, the newest one I ordered, uh, this one that I'm going to start putting together. He did not get his own mask, but that's okay. He got so many other stuff going for him. So I wanted to just show you how all three looked. Uh, next to each other and uh, yeah, they look so kick-ass. If you're a nerd, you probably have nerdgasm now. I, I am, I'm, I'm like so amazed every time I see those these three guys. They look so fucking cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm like the hugest nerd when it comes to stuff like this and I enjoy it way, way too much. But yeah, here are my grown-up toys that I enjoy playing with and I can't um, I can't really come up with better words than amazing to describe these guys. I'm also looking really really forward to adding the newest member, uh, the ones I got today, the Alternative Hunter one, to the collection and see how it works together with uh, these three guys. So guys, if you, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, showing video thingy that I show you my Predator collection and I'm, I'm really like I said, the channel is about me having fun and testing out new things, so it's not really that serious. But I hope you enjoyed unpacking the big new Predator with me. And I hope you are looking forward to seeing him uh, being complete. And um, I hope I'll see you around. I have a few more other different YouTube project things that I would like to film and show it to you. And uh, yeah, your feedback is always appreciated. So tell me what you think about my videos so far. And um, you can also tell me what kind of things you would like to see in the future. So, thank you and see you guys.